Hi, this is Julie Thompson reporting from Yahoo's Refresh Lounge at Cannes 2012. I'm here with Ben Winkler, Chief Digital Officer for OMD. Cheers, Ben. Cheers, Julie. How are you? Thank Very you. Very well. Oh, big boy cup. Yes, as it should be. Um, so, um, I wanted to say welcome to Cannes and ask you, what are you seeing this year that's different, the festival? Well, you know, it just started up, but uh, two things I've been struck by are an emphasis on technology and sort of the end, of the, excuse me, the other end of the spectrum, talent, right? So there's this whole series of, of uh, meetings and talks about how to bring in talent and, 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 and maintain that talent. Apparently, I think 30% of people in the advertising industry will leave this year from their agency, and that's a huge problem. It's a huge drain on a company. Mm -hmm. So it's great to see an emphasis on how do we keep those people where they need to be. Yep. And do you think winning great work at Cannes helps keep them? I think it does. Um, although, you know, and when do you clients see, care <laughs> about the about keeping good talent about or about winning. winning? Uh, some clients care. Some clients don't. Depends on what their objectives are. But mm -hmm. certainly, when you see those people pick up their their lines at the award shows, they they know their career has just been made, and there's nothing more exciting in advertising. Yeah. Now, um, the last few years, Cannes seems to be invaded by the big media companies, and as a top media digital uh, guru. Um, how has that changed? Well, I think we're doing a great job of ruining most of the great events in the world. South by Southwest, <laughs> Cannes, CES, uh, probably um, next up. next up. Congress. Yes, exactly. <laughs> next up, maybe will be a, a film festival or two that we can destroy. Uh, but in the end, it's a good thing that uh, our, our clients and our agency focusing on where the action is of the big ideas, the big creative minds, because media isn't just about buying spots and dots anymore. You need to be in a place like this to be inspired. Yeah, and uh, the night of the media awards, are, are, do you have a lot of OMD work shortlisted? We have How are you going to do? Yeah, yeah, we've got a couple of uh, injuries for OMD just in the US, many more globally. Uh, one for Pepsi with the X Factor, an extraordinary uh, integration we did in their first year uh, in the US, and the other for Intel. And uh, we're very excited about the prospects for both. Cool. And in terms of, um, uh, again, media, the digital media buy and, get, and talking to your clients about shifting more dollars to online. What, what, what are you seeing as the, what's enabling that and what's, what are barriers to that? Well, there's still certainly barriers that are, that are inherent in, the, in most of the organizations you work with uh, because media and advertising is very much a momentum game, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, our clients are used to putting certain amounts of money in certain types of media and getting certain results for that. Um, mm -hmm. However, they can't ignore the research, the tests. Uh, it's starting to add up, and we're seeing that hockey stick finally happening in media. The $30 billion gap isn't quite closed yet. Um, it's even more gaping when it comes to things like mobile, but I would imagine that gap will close faster as each new technology adds on. Mm -hmm. Great, great. So the, the future is bright for, for digital. <laughs> That's <laughs> why we have to wear shades. Exactly. Perfect. Well, cheers to you and cheers, enjoy Julie. your week. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you.